Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, and this is episode 51. Um, Just to let you know where we're at right now, it's crazy. Um, It's February 20th, 2020, okay? I'm in North Carolina, and right now, it's like massive snow, snow uh, flakes coming down. It's crazy. Uh, (laughs) They talked about it for a couple days. Nowadays, when they talk about snow hitting here, I believe them because it always does. The only difference is the snow over here will stick to the cars. Uh, it'll stick on the grass. It'll be in the trees. But the concrete, like the uh, driveway and the street, doesn't stick. So it's crazy. But you know what? It was weird because, you know, this is the South. South was never known for snow. So you think about where we're at now as far as the environment, you know, the world, the way it's changing. People, you know, blame it on the ozone layer and all this other stuff. But I don't know. I just think just like, you know, night turns into day and day turns into night and summer into winter and so on. <clears throat> I also believe that as as the years go by, the climates change. Apparently, uh, Iceland... You know, from what I recall, I got have to look into make sure I'm, I'm, my, my facts are correct. But Iceland used to be green, and Greenland used to be all icy. You know, no, no, that's the way it is now, right? So Iceland is green, and Greenland is icy. That's the way it is now. But why is it named that way? Because apparently, um, Iceland was icy, and Greenland was greeny. <laughs> so, you know, so I, I just believe that that's just the way the world changes, and I think, um, uh, yeah, so, you know, but never thought we would notice it within our lifetime, you know, usually it, you know, kind of changes suddenly, you know, Um, but yeah, so we're down south, and it's February, so we're heading into the spring months, and now we're going to get snow. And um, I remember when I first came down here, it was not known. And it seemed like, it's to me, it seemed like North Carolina started snowing after we moved here. Because I never, never remember anyone talking about snow coming down here. My nephew lived here. We knew other people that lived here. They never told, told us about snow coming down, to, coming down south. This was the south. It was supposed to snow down. It's supposed to be basically nice weather all year long, but uh, but when we moved here, we noticed that not only is it not summer all all year long, it actually gets cold. It gets pretty pretty cold. I mean, for it to drop below zero is not unusual. An average winter morning is might be like 35 degrees, but then we get the snow. Now I have seen the snow where it. Um, it stuck, and there was enough snow to basically build a small snowman, you know. Uh, but uh, like today, you can see it. It's on my car. It's in the grass, but it's not sticking. Uh, but this is the funny part about it. <coughs> when it snows over here, or there's some sort of snow warning, okay, it's like... The entire town shuts down. You go to Walmart, you're not going to find any milk. You're not going to find bread. You might not find water. Um, People stay off the roads. People are not driving. Um, I've seen uh, the people that are driving are driving like, you know, 15 miles an hour. They're going with their hazards on. And I'm talking about 
the extent of the snow that they might be driving to is basically powder on the floor. It's like, it looks like baby powder. It looks like there's baby powder on the ground. I remember when that first happened. When it first happened and they talked about it snowing. My first snow snow experience here in North Carolina. It literally looked like someone took some baby powder and just sprinkled it around. That's how light it was. However, the entire city practically shut down. Excuse me. Practically shut down. So, you know, um, and, it, and it was weird. And I remember laughing about it. And I remember being on the road and actually seeing people pull over. People driving slow. They're blinking. Now, I'm not a fast driver. I'm a very safe driver. But they were a little bit too much, man. They were, like, really going slow. Now, mind you, I'm from New York City. Born and raised between the Bronx and Queens. In my lifetime, growing up, I have experienced some real snowstorms. I'm talking about what is called, what they call blizzards. What they call blizzards. So, guys, you gotta excuse me, I'm just really out of it, I'm not feeling too well. But, uh, uh, I think everybody's sick over here. Anyway, um, so, uh, you know, I remember walking, and and what was crazy in New York is that nothing shut down. The stores didn't shut down. The schools didn't shut down, you know? And I I lived on 88th Street in Queens, in Jackson Heights. My school was, not only was it on 78th Street, so you're talking about straight down. I'm on 88th, they're on 78th, but then they're five blocks up, up. So they were like on Northern Boulevard. So we had 37th Avenue, 35th Avenue, 34th Avenue, and then then Northern Boulevard. So it was like four blocks up. So we're talking about an average of about 14 blocks. And that's city blocks. They're pretty big. So, and I don't remember school closing when it snowed. And I'm talking about snow to the point where you're lifting your foot up out of the snow in order to step forward, okay? And I, I rem- it is so clear, so clear. And I remember it was like, my mother used to, t- used to tell my mom, Ma, it's snowing. Can I stay home? Like, I, I would love, I said, love to stay home when it snowed, <laughs> you know? Because not only was it snow, it was New York, it was freezing. And she used to tell me, well, as long as the schools are open, you're going to school. So, so that's how I grew up. I grew up that no matter what, you still went to school. If it was pouring rain, if it was, you know, how many times I went to school, it was below zero. I didn't have a car. I didn't grow up with a car. My mother didn't drive, and I didn't have a father in the house. It was just me and my mom. So, you know. That's why I used to get car sick all the time. In fact, when I first started driving, I was a little concerned. I said, man, because I threw up all the time. I said, man, am I going to be driving and throwing up in my own car when I'm driving? (laughs) But no, it never happened. (laughs) Anyway, um, so we walked everywhere or we took the train. Let me tell you something. Some of the coldest winds you're going to feel is up on the platform waiting for the train. I remember that. Because you were up high, and that breeze came through. And you would try to duck behind one of the columns or something. They have these little um, these little um, rooms that you can go in, like these little uh, see-through little rooms that you can step inside. It's like a shelter. That's what it is. Step inside, and you wait for, the, wait for your train to come. Uh, but I couldn't take the train to, to go to school. It, uh, it, first of all, it made no sense. I would have to go down the other way, Roosevelt, catch a train. It just made no sense. Then there was no stop where I had to go. Where I had to pass it, so I would be down. Had to go to like I think 72nd Street, and then walk up. It was it was crazy. It was crazy. So wasn't gonna or oh, get off at 82nd Street and walk down a few blocks. So it, it didn't make no sense. So, um, so it just cracks me up when I see. But okay, but this is crazy now. Not only is it nuts, not only is it is it 
crazy the way things shut down here and the way that people act. I'm talking about, you know, you see it on the news, people talking about, you know, you see, I know it's not going to be a storm. I mean, it's, it's like the roads are not even freaking have, have snow on them. But everybody's shutting down. But this is the crazy, this is the crazy part. I'm starting to get like that. <laughs> I noticed this a couple years ago. Angel was like, she said, let's run to the store, go pick up a few things. I was like, ah, oh, I don't think it's a good idea. They said the roads are bad. <laughs> so she was like, the roads are not bad. <laughs> I, said, I said, yo, I don't know, man. These people got me paranoid. They really do. They got me freaking paranoid. Like, nobody wants to drive. And I'm like, yo, do they know something that I don't? You know? Is this, is this something that they know that I don't that I don't know? <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I remember seeing a hailstorm one time and everybody pulled over. No, 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 no. It wasn't a hailstorm. It was a hard rain. So hard that you putting your windshield wipers on high didn't help. You still couldn't see. You had to pull over and wait. So that kind of weather gets pretty extreme over here. But, um, but yeah, you know, I catch myself now, you know, when they talk about it snowing, I'm like, oh man, uh, like we didn't go out today at all. We got to go out tomorrow. We're like, well, we'll check the weather, see how the roads are going to look. Honestly, the roads are fine. <laughs> We're just concerned <laughs> because everybody else is, you know, everybody's talking about this freaking storm, you know, it's crazy. You know, listen, when I first, when me and Angel first started dating, right, I remember I went to her house, I think it was Christmas Day, right? So, I got up, was it Christmas Day or Christmas Eve? I think it was Christmas Eve, now that I'm thinking about it, right? So, I had a little Dodge Shadow. I remember it was a freaking blizzard, a blizzard. I have a short, small, white Dodge Shadow. It was like a 94 or something like that. And I'm driving to her house. And I remember I'm excited to go. And I have gifts in my car and everything. And the snow was coming. You know when they have those real big flakes? Like real big flakes? Those things were hitting my windshield pretty, you know, there was a lot coming down. Like the sky was, the sky was coming down, man, with snow. And the roads were like, you had to really be careful. See, in New York, a lot of snow will have you skidding. And if you're not skidding, someone else might be skidding and they'll hit you. So I'm driving. Next thing you know, I have my windshield wipers on high, super high. So they, they used to make a lot of noise. And I have that thing going real fast. Next thing I know, my freaking windshield wiper totally just flew off the, the, the rack. I was like, oh, shit. Now, I didn't even know how to change a windshield wiper. For real. I used to bring my car in and just say, change this, this light, do this, this, change the oil, put a new windshield wiper. So I never paid it any mind. So... <clears throat> I looked at my other windshield wiper, I got out, I pulled over, got up, and I couldn't figure out how that damn thing came off. Or if it came off, does it, can I put it on the other side? I didn't know, because I was in the car by myself. myself. I wasn't too concerned about the passenger side, there was nobody there, but my side, I needed to keep it clear, because I was driving from Queens to the Bronx, I had to go over a bridge. Um, I mean, it was a lot of driving. I was on highways. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. And it was getting worse as I was getting there. So what I did is, <coughs> I took off my shirt. I had a t-shirt underneath. I took the t-shirt off, put my shirt back on. And I had the club. You know, you know, you guys know the club, right? That bar that you put on your handle, on your, on your steering wheel, and then you lock it so people, they break in, they can't, they can't take your car. But anyway, so I take, I took my t-shirt and I tied it around the end of the club. Now the club is heavy. It's heavy. I rolled down the window. And I stuck my hand out the window, my left hand. And as I'm driving, I'm, I'm using 
the club and my t-shirt as a windshield wiper. And let me tell you something, man. I did that all the way to Angel's house, okay? It worked. It was extremely uncomfortable. My knuckles were freezing. I was freezing because the window was open. Um, the It got to the point where the t-shirt was soaking wet. So really all I was doing was kind of like smearing water back and forth. Um, but I made it. And, and my arm was killing me because that damn club was heavy as hell, you know? And I remember people seeing me. I remember stopping at lights and people <laughs> pulling up or looking at me and they're laughing. And uh, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go see my girl. <laughs> so, and, uh, but, you know, that's the kind of stuff. And now that's some serious, you know, you know, uh, weather stuff, you know, that you're dealing with. You know, over here, uh, that's not even the case. But uh, anyway, um, it's Thursday night. Um, tomorrow, the kids are off from school. That's that's another thing. It's crazy. Actually, today, I thought Santana was going to get like a two-hour delay where the bus will come two hours later. No. They took her on time. They picked up on time. So I had her out there by 6 a.m. Um, but then they said it was a three-hour. They were bringing the kids back three hours early. Now, this was crazy. Because I put her on the bus. Pretty cold, though. She has her cell phone. She calls us from the bus. We're like, what happened? She goes, I left my school project. And what it is, is was some slime she made or whatever. So I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. So we grabbed her stuff. We jumped in the car. And we drove to her school. Uh, which, it's not that it's far. But it's in some these real narrow... I'm talking about very narrow two-way roads that I swear every time you pass a car, you swear that you guys, your bumpers are going to hit. It's crazy. It's crazy. Why they even made those roads that narrow, got, they got me. And they allow trucks on it. So there's trucks on it. There's all kinds of, all kinds of stuff on it. Um, but anyway, so we brought her project, and we actually got to her school before her bus did, you know. Um... And then, uh, and then they got her home. They brought her home three home three hours early, which made no sense. It's like you should have just left her home. You know, we don't take her off from school unless it's an emergency. Because sometimes when we travel, she has no choice. We have to take her out of school because there's gonna be no one here to pick her up. So, and at those times, we have absolutely no choice but to take her off. So. Every other time, we make sure that she goes to school because we've done it before, where we've kept a kept a home basically for bullshit, and, and then like a week later, we actually have to keep a home, and that's way too many absences, you know. So we couldn't do that. So and so and we try to schedule our show so that way we're not leaving that much on Friday. And if we do leave on Friday, it's usually late. It's usually like after she gets out of school, um, unless we have a show on Friday. That's a different story, you know. But um. But yeah, and then they, we just got to call it while ago, so they canceled school for tomorrow. It's crazy, you know. I mean, I'm fine with it, whatever. Um, but it's crazy because honestly, it's not gonna be that. It's not gonna be that bad. They're talking about black ice on the road. Okay, well, I guess, I guess. But um, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. They're not prepared out here. Like I, I don't think I've ever seen like those bulldozers that push snow or. The the the, the 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 trucks that shoot the the, the salt, the salters, whatever you call them, uh, I've never seen that out here. So I've never bought soy. I've never had to shovel my driveway ever, you know. So, but anyway, so that's our story for this weekend for today. Um, just want to reach out to you guys and say hello. Thanks for everything. Um, I put up another video. Go on my YouTube. Check out the videos we've been putting up. I put a, another on the road video. This one was from 2013 when we did Houston. Um, I had it there. I always wanted to put it up. So I edited it. I finally put it up. So I'm going to be building that uh, place, that playlist uh, on the road. I like it. I have a lot of footage. I just have to find time to uh, put everything together, edit it, and put it out there. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it. Um, again, if you're listening to this on YouTube, those subscribes are super important for me so please subscribe okay and until tomorrow be cool
and good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.